Okay, so this is a sea star. It's an echinoderm, which means spiny skin. So it's related to urchins and other animals like that. If you feel them, you can kind of see how they have that rough skin on the outside. This guy right now is actually in the process of eating a mussel. That's why he's all clamped up like that. Um, I reached back there a little bit. I could actually feel the muscle open. So he's actually given up. What sea stars will do is uh, they'll actually force a muscle to get exhausted. So they'll clamp onto a muscle and they'll start pulling. And a muscle's reaction is to close shut to protect themselves. Unfortunately for the little muscle, it only has one large muscle to hold itself shut, whereas a starfish has five big arms. So all he has to do is alternate one arm, then the other, then the other. He's never going to get tired. And eventually the muscle is just exhausted and he just gives up. When that finally happens, he can kind of open it. Um, the way these guys digest is really interesting too. They kind of turn their stomach inside out, throw a bunch of enzymes in there, eat the muscle while it's still kind of alive, digest him, and then slurp him up. Uh, so this muscle's not enjoying his day today. It's kind of sad, but the sea star looks like he's very happy. So this is the underside of a sea star. As you can see, very strong. He's already started to grip onto my thumb and I actually can't pull it off right now without ripping things. So I'm just going to put him back in the water first. Um, but yeah, so these are their arms, as you would call them. And then the mouth is right in here. So that's where they would spit out the digestive enzymes. And these guys can actually regenerate. So if I were to cut him in half, he'd eventually start growing more arms. All they need is a section of the middle part. So sea stars are being studied for their regenerative powers. Hopefully one day they can be used in medicine, maybe figure out how to, well it's an extreme, but maybe grow a person an arm or an eye or something if you figure out how cells, what it is that's making them duplicate and regenerate. That would be the end goal. So pretty cool. Uh, these guys can survive out of water for a, a while. That's why they're tidal animals, but I'm just going to go ahead and put them back where we found. Yay. And he's already stuck. <laughs>